welcome to my stay at home reading rush vlog. So from Thursday to Sunday, I read as much as possible. I uh, talked about what I was going to read on Thursday. So you can go back and watch that video if you want a little sneak peek of what's ahead. Uh, I had great plans and I accomplished, just very, very happy with what I accomplished. This isn't a real vlog because I can't show much of my daily life at all. 90% of my daily life is parenting to girls, but I'm a foster parent, so I can't share any of them. And it's too hard to try to shoot around the house and not have them in it because they want to know what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. And so I'm so I'm mostly shooting at nap time when they are really more like quiet time, back in their bedroom having quiet time, and after they go to bed. Thank goodness for summer because it is still light out after they go to bed, so I can still shoot a little bit. Let me know. If you like this kind of thing, I am happy to share what I'm reading each week. I've been reading a lot more recently. Um, leave a comment below and let me know and let's just dive right in. Okay, so I started reading The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and I'm on chapter three after a little bit of nap time reading. I had to show you these amazing end papers. I mean, technically the end papers are that uh, peachy peach color. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. And then, okay, this is the dust jacket. Under the dust jacket, the third cover book, because it's set in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. It's stamped. This is like embossed. It's got a number on it. Very excited to see if that number comes up. Isn't that beautiful? It's just such a beautiful book. And it's so, so funny. so good. I have been reading it on and off all day and just little bits and pieces, a little bit during nap, a little bit with my coffee, and I just have one chapter left. And it's so good. It is so good at understanding what it feels like to be a mom caught in the cycle of laundry and meals and cleaning and over and over and over and also to love books and to turn to books for comfort there's a lot of that in it and then there's there's some creepy scenes but it's not like horror like i thought it would be like scary it's not really scary it's just more like oh, oh, squiggy squiggy scenes and not many four maybe Hey, so it's Saturday morning and I stayed up until so late last night, like 1230 last night, finishing this book. It was so good. It's very easy to read. Like it's very um, fast paced and fun and funny. And also like you want to know what's going to happen next. And the ongoing creepiness is like just under the surface. So it feels like literary fiction that's following a woman's book club in the 90s but then there's just this ongoing creepiness happening so good I loved it so much it was exactly what I needed to read right now yesterday I didn't have a ton of reading time I just little bits and pieces and then the girls are in bed at seven each night so basically all my reading was done at night and that's with taking breaks I actually made dinner for me and Jay ate dinner we watched some tv together and then I just read this the rest of the night I loved it so much. I'm now on part three of The Other Bennett Sister and it is so good. I am loving it and um, I'm basically going to stick with that for the rest of the day and read that and not start another book. Hey, so it's Saturday evening and I am, I don't know if you can see all my fingerprints on the Kindle, 52% of the way through The Other Bennett Sister. I thought I was further along um, earlier, but uh, it's really good. <laughs> like, it just like, Mary is growing as a person like now that she's been on her own so I told you part one followed like almost scene for scene until um Charlotte marries Mrs. Mr. Collins and then part two starts and it skipped ahead two years so Pride and Prejudice is over and it follows her through figuring some stuff out and then in part three she's figuring some stuff out and like there's some like character development is what I'll call it. It's making me so happy. I like, you really feel for Mary. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to watch the movie 
or read the book and see her the same way again because now I can see from her perspective how even in the book like she's really ridiculed and her family pushes her aside and it's actually not a very loving family which is something she's realizing like families can be like loving and full of affection and not be teasing like her dad and Lizzie always did and I think that's just like really interesting. I'm gonna keep reading this. I hope to finish it by the end of the readathon so we will see it's bedtime now so it is as i'm standing by the window to catch the last bit of the setting sun um it is which means i have hours of reading ahead of me if i choose to i think i'm done with animal crossing for the day i did that during nap time i think what's ahead of me is reading all night it's just like Hey, so today is Monday, and yesterday I finished the last of the Stay Home Reading Rush. Ooh, the sun just came out bright. Um, I finished reading The Other Bennett Sister. It was a review copy from NetGalley, and I loved it. The ending was what I wanted out of so many different Jane Austen books, but just weren't possible at the time. It was um, more feminist, more, it was more about the woman in the story than it was about the relationship, which just made me so happy. Um, the book overall was like very fun. The first part was very in line with Pride and Prejudice and I don't think I would have enjoyed a whole book of that. But then um, after part one, it really went in a different direction and it took some from Sense and Sensibility, it took some from Emma. Um, so I'm glad I've recently read Sense and Sensibility so I could see how it showed up in the other Bennett sister and um it my one crit criticism of it would be that it was a bit over long like there were scenes that could have been cut there were scenes that basically made the same point several different ways and I think that they could have been cut and nothing would have been lost so um that is the other Bennett sister I loved it I'm so happy for it thank you Nat Galley for the advanced reader copy and that's the reading rush I read two books uh over three days three days, four days, I guess, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, they were both really, really good. I'm really happy with them. So tell me how your weekend of reading went. Did you get any reading done? What have you been reading lately? Tell me below. Have a fantastic week. Um, this Wednesday, the podcast episode is actually a rebroadcast of the episode about seasons in your business because I think it's really applicable right now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure you like the video if you like bookish content from me and subscribe if you wanna see more.